All right, guys, welcome back. This is Infernal with episode 11 of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red in the Randomizer Ashlock. Oh boy, I'm so fucking hyped. So last time we got Strength and Surf. So, yeah, we got some good moves now, actually. Let me get the Surf DM. Well, Cortex can learn Surf, give him some coverage. But I'd rather give that to Furion first. Though it has water pulse, but surf is just way better. Question is, do we need protect? I don't think so. Fuck protect. So, yeah. Easy. So we have surf and strength now. So we have all the HMs in the game. And now we could actually check out this area, as there is a lot of trainers here. And Regismark. Needs some more training, but also our Sceptile could use some training. I'm gonna check that out first. Let's check it. We caught a Sceptile in the Safari Zone last time. So... That is very nice. Our team is really huge. I mean, we have a lot of reserve pokes. Let's see, our team looks very good. What the fuck was that? What? That was some weird sound. Alright, Sceptile. Bashful nature, I don't know what that is. Uh, Fury Cutter, Pursuit, Screech, and Leaf Blade. That's decent, I would say. I only le need Leaf Blade. What else would you need if you have Leaf Blade, right? Holy crap, is that thing good. Look at our team. Dude, we have such a versatile team. We have backs backups for everything. Alright. Well, looking good. Let's keep this team for now, though, because we still got a bunch of stuff to evolve. The stuff that is on our PC doesn't need to evolve anymore, so... The number one priority is now to get Regismark to evolve into a nice... Um, Venusaur. After that is complete... Let's actually use our Raichu for the first time. Come on, Raichu. The shiny Raichu. Damn. Easy peasy. And the Sand Shrew. Hmm. Wait, is it a Sand Shrew or a Sand Slash? Uh, Sand Shrew. Alright, we can beat that. Dude, this is a 5% fucking missed chance. And it feels like it's a 50% missed chance. Seriously. Get wrecked, Sand Shrew. Made myself a new tea in the break. I would have something nice and warm. I love. I can't even drink cold drinks anymore. It's like I don't know. I just enjoy tea so much recently. It kind of over the la past like two years, kind of developed a huge love for tea. I don't know why. Pyro. Interesting. A Tyro shouldn't be a problem. Nice critical. 
Meganium. Oh boy. Well, that would be good if I had a poison type move, but I don't. Alright, Freezer. Meganium is actually a Pokemon that we could catch, even. I mean, we're not missing a whole lot anymore. Maybe I should open my fucking menuing thing. Always had this open, but now I kind of didn't open it up anymore. Alright. Ash Ketchum Pokemon list. Ash Pokemon teams throughout the regions. There we go. Houndour. Nightmare Waniac, thanks a lot for hosting me and welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying your stay here with us. Really appreciate it, man. Heart goes out to you. Thanks a lot, man. How are you doing? I hope you're having a nice day today. Probably not if you are in Germany though, <laughs> but I guess you're not. Uh, the weather doesn't look too great. Alright, Nightmare. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow, Nightmare. Really appreciate it. Gino Super, also welcome. Uh, I didn't even... Oh, you're at school? Alright, so you're from Europe, I guess. UK, alright. Oh, every time I always feel bad when I have people from the UK because then they immediately realize how bad my English is. <laughs> if I talk to people that don't know English very well, then I'm fine. But UK people have good English usually. Oh, I'm feeling good. How are you, how are you doing, man? Like. I'm a bit nervous because tomorrow I have an exam that is the last exam that I will have in university ever. If I pass, that is. If, if I don't pass, then I will have to repeat that one. Which I hopefully don't have to do. That would be bad. Oh yeah, we forgot the Tauros, right. So we can still catch. What can we still catch? We can catch a Tauros, we can catch... Eradicate. We can catch a Muck, actually. I forgot about the Muck. Um, the Prime Ape. Oh boy, there is a lot more that we could potentially catch. Lapras, of course. Then the Chikorita evolutionary line. <laughs> well, that is something, I guess. That is a very important word to know. Thanks a lot, Gino Super. Thanks a lot. It's gonna be a tough exam. Oh boy. Uh, Dawn Fan is actually a possibility as well. Wait, no, we had a Dawn Fan and we lost it. Yeah. I already forgot. Uh, we lost our cool Dawn Fan. I don't even know why. What did it die to? I don't even remember. It died to something stupid. Probably a self-destruct. Actually, our Pidgeotto died to self-destruct. I don't know how what, what Donphan died to. Yeah. Noctowl. Oh boy. Noctowl, Totodile, Heracross, Beedrill already died as well. Uh, other than that, we have all the shit, right? Apom. Apom is still a possibility. And that's it. That's actually it, yes. But I don't want an A-Palm for the other stuff. Hope we get something out of... Actually, we don't even need anything else. Like, our team is good the way it is. We have backups for every type. And... We have pretty good coverage, so I'm not really concerned about catching more stuff. Dude, it's so... It, uh, 
I don't even know what to say anymore. Every fucking second attack that I... Razor Relief has a 7... Uh, has a 95% hit. And every second use of it misses. Why? Like, what the fuck? Who is this unlucky? Who is that unlucky? Oh my god. A Blissey. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna be painful again, right? Like, I'm gonna use Leaf Seed and then... It's gonna heal... 3,000 times again. Yeah, sure, 5 turn me. 5 turn me all you want. Look at this healing. Look at this healing, it's disgusting. Oh no, not minimize again. Yeah, I'm de decently far, I mean, I have 4 badges, so like, half of the game is done. I'm kind of trying to just farm all these random trainers. Trying to farm all the random trainers now. And then we can do like three gyms in a row. Or something along those lines. Alright, let's put the Blissey to sleep. And now we can just strike it down. We just healed up with, with Leech Seed on a fucking Blissey. It's incredible. Uh, this rule set was... Uh, yeah, I don't know how I came up with that. I mean, it, I thought it would be interesting. This is a subscriber goal project because I reached my first subscriber goal. Uh, that's what this project is for. And yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Some new stuff. I'm always trying to think of new challenges that I could implement into the game because... Just playing the Pokemon games in a normal fashion is kind of boring, but if you spice it up a little bit, it actually gets really cool. So Regismark should evolve now, right? Am I right? Am I right? Yes. Let's go. Let's get this Venusaur. There we go. Regis Regis Mark evolved into a Venusaur. Nice. So now it should be able to pretty much defeat anything that is not a fire type or actually oh dude, another chancy. So the problem is that it only has grass type moves. That is a really big deal. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch out. I need. I really need some good moves, like poison moves or normal type moves. Something along those lines is very necessary. And that is a thick rhyme. Let me actually check what it learns. Venusaur. Alright, I'm just gonna try to headbutt this Chansey down. Wow, super easy. Dude, Chansey's defensive capabilities are awful. A normal. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. I'm kind of looking up the Venusaur right now. Where is the moveset? Gen 3? Oh my god, it doesn't learn anything. Dude, what the fuck? This thing is super useless. So I need some TMs in order to make it useful. It doesn't learn any fucking moves. Actually it learns growth at least later on, but... That is kind of its moveset. I could have given it strength, maybe. Or something like Toxic would be decent, maybe. It's 
something like Toxic. Britney Spears. Lol. That was actually a cool song. Toxic was a really good song, I think. I enjoyed it. Right, Jolteon, you can't do anything to me, but I am not doing a lot to you. Which results in a battle that will take three hours, because I'm probably gonna miss... Oh, I didn't. Sand attack, yet I hit all three of my Razor Leaf attacks. Sometimes lucky. Actually, Earthquake would be good. Maybe Regismark can learn that. Um, actually, maybe we should... Like, the thing is, the double typing on um, on Venusaur is really useful. I mean, the fact that you have... Yeah, the fact that you have the poison type as well is, like, pretty useful, actually. The problem is, if you don't have any poison moves, a lot of the potential is actually wasted. So, what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna deposit our evolved boy Regismark. And I'm going to get Sceptile out. Well, I have to, <laughs> until you have to fight Sabrina. Welcome, Pench Costella. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here again. You're already, like, one of my most frequent viewers, actually. Um, yeah, Sabrina. Yeah, of course. Sabrina is a problem. But... I think it's actually fine. Against Sabrina, Sceptile is definitely better. It has Pursuit, and it is not a Poison type. But against Sabrina, I guess I have a bunch of Dark-type moves on my team, like... Um, my Blastoise has Bite, my... Uh, my little Ice Pokémon, um, Snowrunt has Crunch, so... We should be good against Sabrina. Oh boy, with Kangas delivering the damage. I guess I'm gonna switch out against this though. It's actually a fighting type, so yeah. But the thing is, Pench Costella, Sabrina is not a psychic type trainer in this run. Because it's randomized. Everything is randomized, so if I don't run into a random Mewtwo, I'm actually fine. I met a shit ton of legendaries throughout this run, but Mewtwo wasn't one of them so far. And I'm glad I didn't have to face one because, yeah. You guys probably all know how it feels like to face a Mewtwo. Especially on lower levels, it's actually ridiculous how strong a Mewtwo is. What is intimidating about a Hitmon top? I don't understand. Damn. What? I can't even two shot with Leaf Blade? At least I'm outspeeding everything. I have Pursuit 2. Wait, why am I screeching? What is wrong with me? Oh, the misclick. The Miss Clickerino. Alright, let's go. Oh wow, it doesn't even die. Dude, are you kidding me? I used Screech and... Oh yeah, it's... Uh, it's Gen 3. Dark-type moves are not physical. Dark-type moves are special. I can't... Uh, I can't get used to that. I can't fucking get used to that. I don't know, in Gen 1, I kind of... It's kind of easy for me to get used to it. Uh, in Gen 1, it's kind of... yeah, I don't know. But in Gen 3, it somehow seems like this should be in the game already. I, and I don't know why it isn't. Ch 
Champion Mallory. Alright, we defeated the champion. Game over, guys. Fuck this, I'm sorry. We're done. Yeah, we defeated the champion. What can we do? Just kidding, of course. A slow bro. Fighting a slow bro all of a sudden becomes way more chill than fighting it with a Venusaur, where one confusion can ruin my day. Easy peasy, guys. And a seal. Oh, this feels so good. Rokang is getting free XP all over the place. Gyarados. Oh shit. Well, that is kind of a tough one to deal with. Especially because of the Intimidate. I might have to switch out here. I mean, this won't do that much. Maybe I should have started with a Screech, but... Yeah, Dragon's Rage is shit. Gotta switch out. Alright, Raichu. Easiest way to defeat a Gyarados is just use any fucking electric type move and the game is just over. Oh, I lost so many Gyaradoses in Nuzlocks to random electric type moves that I didn't expect. On like Porygons and... I don't know... Misdreavuses and all that shit. Yeah, Venusaur is more of the, the type of tanky, slow-killing, stall Pokemon, while... Let's actually heal up. I should have done that out of combat, actually. A little bit stupid. Nature power. I guess a low dead won't do that much damage. It's super effective. Oh boy. So after the stream I'm going to prepare for the exam tomorrow a little bit more. I hope then I'm ready. This is gonna be super, super duper tough. I hope it goes well, though. Oh shit, dude. That is already... Oh shit. That is the problem. Look at this shit. Oh my god, and I get poisoned as well. Fucking hell. This is exactly what I hate. Exactly this. This is exactly the problem. Venusaur doesn't take that damage. It has a lot more defensive capabilities because of that. And at Patrino. Level thirty two. Baltoy. Oh, no, I'm not gonna switch back. The poison would just kill me, probably. The poison would just kill me. I can't afford to lose. My Sceptile. Actually, it wouldn't be the worst thing, because I have two grass types, but I love Sceptile. Sceptile is just the coolest grass type in the universe. What is your favorite grass type Pokemon, guys? Mine is definitely Sceptile, especially because of the reason that Mega Sceptile is super cool and it is also a Dragon type upon evolving, and Dragon types are my favorite types in the game. As some of you might know my subscriber badge is a Gibble, at least the one for one month. And then later you can evolve into a Mega Garchomp. Oh. Rich Kid Yo. Alright, so I have to... 
obviously use a, an antidote here, or I would lose my Rokangas forever, which can't happen. Also, I'm gonna use a Super Potion on it. So it can fight again. Oh, double battle! I were, I was... I really miss these. Double battles are cool. There's so few double battles in this game. Just like in like black and white, there were not a lot of double battles. Which is super sad. Two water types, well... Orion quick attack. Well, in that case... I mean, between Serena... Serena is definitely my second favorite. Lurentis. I don't even know Lurentis. Lurentis. Never heard of that one. Actually. But Serena is very cool. I love it. Serena is definitely second on my list. I wanted to do a... Like a tier list of my favorite Pokemon her type and Im include that in a command on the stream but I somehow didn't get to do that yet what is your favorite Pokemon of all time Regismar? no matter what type just in general Nidorino oh boy I might get poisoned here. Not because of this, but because of me actually hitting him. And running into a poison pin, maybe. Spearow is your favorite Pokemon of all time. That's an interesting choice. It's definitely an interesting choice. I think my tea should be fine now, so let's put the Fanta away. Mistrevious Spite. Or Sprite? 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 I don't know. My favorite Pokemon of all times is Arcanine. Because it looks so majestic and it's and you can depend on it. It's loyal. And fire types are cool. Maybe I can also do like a list of Woohoo broke back! Welcome to the stream! Hope you're enjoying your stay. Nice to have you here. Pursuit can actually be useful here, maybe. Um, I could maybe do like a ranking of my favorite types in general. Just like just flat out what type I like the most. Oh, that's a cute emote. Um. Like, for example, my favorite type is the Dragon type, and then my second favorite type is probably the Steel type. What is my least favorite type? I don't know. I don't even know what my least favorite type is! Water is your favorite type? That is probably somewhere at the bottom for me. I don't know, I don't really have a water type Pokemon that I really like. There is not a single water type Pokemon where I say this is the shit. Maybe uh, Sharpedo, I really like Sharpedo. But the reason I like Sharpedo is because it's dark type more than a water type. Well, everyone has his opinion, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a dragon guy. 
I'm a dragon guy. Johnny Ace, welcome bro, nice to have you. How are you doing my friend? Always appreciate you being here. This run is getting better and better. And my audience is getting better and better. Oh boy, a Brilloom. Wait, Brilloom is a fighting type, so... Yeah, I'm doing good, I just... Um... um I'm a little bit nervous about my exam tomorrow, but other than that, I'm doing fine. Uh, so after the stream, I have to do final preparations for the exam, and then... I won't be here tomorrow, guys. So... Spiro, he is cool. Feels natural. Classic. Common animal-based Pokemon that doesn't scream I am an animal or I am a fantasy creature. Balance between the two and that makes me feel so comfortable looking at it. Well, that's actually a reasonable explanation. Really cool, like, uh, that you like uh, a Pokemon like that. That is, like, really cool to me. Um, I always say, people just throwing out, uh, the, like, the strongest legendary as their favorite Pokemon is kind of boring to me. Because it feels like they don't really have a reason for that. But liking something like a Sparrow is really cool to me, because it's like just an unusual choice. Not everybody would say, yeah, Sparrow is the shit, but you have a really nice reason, and yeah, I actually like that. I actually like that. But I'm not gonna lie, there is a lot of legendaries I really think are incredibly cool, so... I mean, the thing is, yeah, dragon types are my favorite types, and then there are so many freaking dragon type legendaries, so yeah, of course, there is somewhat of a connection to be drawn there. Huntail. Huntailerino. Running out of leaf tail PP. Guess we should go to a gym soon and hopefully not lose anything. Cascoon. Yeah, I guess I can take on a Cascoon. Guess I can take on a Cascoon with like two pursuits or something. Woohoo, broke back! Thanks for the follow, man. I really appreciate it. Hope you will come back in the future to watch my stream. I'm here from Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. Central European time. Or actually, Central European time will start in four days or something. Because, uh, yeah, we kind of change the time here. Uh, but I won't be here tomorrow because I have a, have the exam and I can't be here. Uh, it's exactly on the time of the stream, kind of. It's not too early, but it's also not that. I mean, it's not too late and not too early. It's like the perfect time to write an exam, actually. Um, yeah, but I will be here. Uh, on Thursday and Friday, of course, with more action. I'm not only playing Pokemon games, so... Um, that might be an important note to make. There is a bunch of different games I play, but I guess Pokemon is the franchise that I play the most right now. But in the future, there's also a lot more different stuff. Um, I have a bunch of active projects right now. Uh, if you type... I have a suggestions of video. Love and hate for every Pokemon type, like... Of a video. Alright, yeah, I could do that. Uh, every Pokemon type. Like, I like... 
Oh, alright. Because of the reason. Yeah, that might be interesting. The problem is... You are a grow... You, you are a, a... A septile, actually, Rokangas. You are a septile. Guess that's a pretty strong Pokemon to be, right? <laughs> I wouldn't be mad about being a septile, I guess. Um, what was I about to say? Yeah, that is a good idea, Regismark. Uh, maybe that is a nice video to make for my YouTube channel. Um, I would have to think about that a lot. I don't know if people are interested, because that would just be my personal opinion, of course. Um, and wouldn't have a lot to do with balance and stuff, even though I'm kind of taking uh, strengths and weaknesses into consideration. But a lot of the... Yeah, I don't need agility. It's fast enough. Stat total is 530. Um, what was I about to say? It's my favorite grass type though, Rokangas. This is my favorite grass type Pokemon of all times. So I'm really happy to have it. Um, yeah, it's like a lot of a lot of the ar arguments I would make in a video like that, um, Regismark, wouldn't be very backed up by facts. It would be a lot of feelings that would come into that, of course. Which, I'm not sure if people would enjoy watching that, but I could do something like that. It's a good idea. I have a Venusaur as well. Well, Venusaur is a little bit weaker, <laughs> apparently. Uh, the problem is Venusaur doesn't learn, doesn't get a good move set in this game, so that is pretty much why I now use Sceptile rather than Venusaur and deposited Venusaur for now. Kadabra. That is good because I'm out of PP for your Leaf Blade, but Kadabra also dies to Double Pursuit, or maybe not. Meganium. I don't have a Meganium yet. I could catch one though, as Ash once owned a Bayleaf. So Meganium would be fine, but Meganium is probably the weakest out of all these three, right? I mean, its moveset is not the best. And the distribution, it's not just the I mean, the stats are one thing, like the, the base stat total is a one thing, but you need a good stat distribution, of course, right? Like, that is an important part. If you have, like, a Pokémon that has decent stats, like a decent base stat total, but the distribution is, like, pretty even, then it doesn't really shine in any regard, so that would kind of suck. Um... But if you have, like, a Pokémon specialized on certain things, like being a melee attacker... Yeah, I also... Oh my god. Regismark, did you... I, I might have asked you before, but did you play... Um, did you play Pokémon Reborn, the fan game? Uh, for all of you guys who never played... Um, who never played... Yeah, but 600, for example, and 530 is a big gap. But if you compare, like, 530 to 540, for example, it doesn't necessarily mean the 540 Pokémon is better. Um, uh, in Pokémon Reborn, what I just wanted to say about uh, Absol, Absol actually appears right before certain events, and it kind of... It's so cool how the Absol appears and you know something awful is gonna happen. It's so cool. Hmm. 
Yeah, play with 3DS upside down. It's weird. Yeah, it's. I I love that one because it's very unique, actually. I mean, uh, the Malamar thing is so cool. I really enjoyed that just because of the fact that it's a really unique way of evolving a Pokemon. But I don't think the Pokemon itself is that cool, to be honest. Oh dude, Swords Dance is scary. Don't one-shot me, please. Well, Fury Cutter shouldn't one-shot me at all. Um... Yeah, it's a fish that is not related to water, that is true. But there are a bunch of things, right? Like, there is a fish that is electric ground, for example. Um, so... Yeah, but I think, I mean Inkay is cool, and Inkay is super cute, Malamar is a, a decently cool Pokemon. I also like the Dark type because it's somewhat mysterious, and for example Umbreon is my favorite evolu evolution as well, um, because it just looks super great. I'm not a huge Psychic type fan though, I think most Psychic type... Whoa. Pokemon are kind of weird. I don't know, I'm not a huge fan. I mean Mewtwo is of course a really cool Pokemon, especially if you watch the movie, it's like, yeah, alright. Mewtwo is the shit, but... Yeah, Shiny Umbreon is beautiful, you are right. With the blue... Uh, the blue, uh, I don't know how to call it, but... It's not really stripes, but... It looks so cool. Where, what? What are you referring to? Yeah, blue rings, maybe? <laughs> yeah. One, two, one, two. Love and hate. You have to pick one to love and one to hate. But, like, how, how do you think this video should be structured? Like, I don't... Is there actually... I don't... I th there's a lot of Pokemon I hate. There's a lot of Pokemon where I say, dude, this Pokemon is super garbage, and I, I just don't like it at all. I think it looks stupid and all that good jazz. But there is a lot of... Um, there is not a type I hate, I think. Like, I can't really think of a type that I hate. I think the normal type is kind of the most boring type to me, but it's not that I hate it. And there's probably normal type Pokemon that I think are very cool. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't think of a type. I'm Like, there are 18 Pokemon types. I don't even... Oh. I think the grass type is also pretty meh. Poison type is not my thing either. I guess, but there are cool Pokemon of that type, of, of that set type. Just in general, it's not really the coolest thing ever. I guess a Beldum can't do shit. It can only use Takedown, and it's gonna pursue it down. Oh, it didn't die. Well, it was a critical, but it's gonna kill itself. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Oh boy. Oh, Mudkip is actually a water type that I really like, now that you mention it. I said earlier that there is not really a water type that I think is cool, but Mudkip, like... Um, uh, Swampert, like the mega evolution of Swampert, that thing is a beast. Holy crap. It just crushes stuff. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, yeah, let's try to use Freezer here. Psybeam. Well, that's not too scary. Aw, dude, why? 
Oh my god, never lucky. Psybeam's not too scary and then I get... Um, it's gonna get scary because I kill myself again. Only three more levels and Freezer will evolve into a beautiful... Freaking... Oh my god, dude, this is so annoying. Do I have to switch out to... Do I have to use, like, Charizard? Holy crap. My stomach is, like, going ham. I'm getting hungry already, like, what the fuck? I didn't get a snack in the last break. Maybe I'll just get a Milky Way in the next one. Alright, bro. Get out of my face. Yeah, light screen is probably gonna make him survive, right? No. Light screen is not enough today, Mr. Dustox. And now the XP gets split between everything. Reggy Steel. Well, I guess I can't switch out on that. That is so conveniently placed in this battle. Actually, the Reggae Steel might survive now. Because the light screen is. yeah. easily survives. Aw. Oh, first. well, first doesn't raise his. special defense, so. Reggae Steel, actually scary. If these things power up and then attack, good thing I can kill them. pretty easily. And a Herak Frost. Well, I'm not gonna switch out against the Herak Frost either. I mean, why would I? Our nice Charizard is just demolishing everything. Oh, the burn might be good. Well, counter. Counter won't help. I could have actually. I'm stupid. I I could have just killed this with Wing Attack. That would have been the easiest kill. That would have one shot for sure, as it's physical and also has a double super effective uh, effect. Gets the four times multiplier, guys. Alright, we're close to our next batch. Close to the next batch. We still have 12 minutes in this ep on this episode. And then... And then we are done, but I'm gonna do another one after this, so don't worry. There's gonna be a, another episode after this one. Alright, Rokangas. Can you deal with a Hitmon top? Wait, is our grass type moves not physical in Gen 3? I don't even know. Triple kick. That hits three times. Pretty obvious, right? I mean, how can Leaf Blade be be a special attack? That wouldn't make any sense. And another Mudkip. Oh, the Mudkip. Damn. I just got, like, the, the last... Weekend was... Uh, I don't know if any one of you guys plays Pokemon Go still, but this weekend was a special event where you could get a lot of shiny Sceptiles. That thing looks awesome, I can tell you guys. It looks awesome. Holy crap. Uh, how do we deal with a Dratini? Cute little Dratini. Oh, of course. Every fucking Dratini ever uses fucking Thunder Wave. Oh shit, dude. That almost kills. Let's get out of here. Um, actually, if I switch to Freezer, that kind of sucks. Let's switch to Cortec. Oh, I would have given you a shiny Trico if you would have needed one, because I don't really care a lot about shinies, to be fair, uh, to be honest. I mean, shinies are nice and all, but mm, meh. I care about the 100% stats, 
And I just got a 100% crow bat, so I'm happy about that. Oh my god, dude. Could you please fucking not be an idiot and hit this fucking Dratini? God damn it. So hard. So hard to win these fights. Pidgeotto. Did you have enough, uh, enough uh, shit to evolve it, though? Xenon, welcome back! How are you doing, my friend? Nice to have you back today. You probably just came back from school, right? Hope you're having a nice day. So we beat all these fuckers, so I'm gonna get back to... Yeah, I'm doing decently well, I guess. 300 plus candy, holy fuck. Well, in that case, easy septile. Um, yeah, I'm doing decently fine, I guess. Um, I'm just not really looking forward to the exam tomorrow. Well, actually I am, because then it's done and I'm... I can chill. Like, the funny thing is I'm always like, I really want to make it, I really want to get the exam. Like, I want to pass it, of course, but then right after the exam I'm like, dude, fuck, I don't even care if I, I, if I passed or not, I'm just happy I have this relief of not having to, like, think about it right now. Which kind of doesn't make a lot of sense, but actually let me save. I didn't save for a long time. Alright, so this fight is gonna be tough. This guy, if he has the wrong types of Pokemon, we're gonna get fucked. Because he, he has pretty high level Pokemon. So let's see how we deal with him. I could have beat more trainers to increase my level. Alright, that is good. That is a very good start for us. All right. What I'm gonna do here is try to stack up my my Fury Cutter into Infinity, so that it eventually just sweeps his whole team. That would be good if I don't miss in the process, which could definitely happen. The thing is, Fury Cutter will always get stronger, right? There is no limit to it. However, Harden, there is an actual limit to using Harden. At some point, your defense is maxed out, and you can't do anything anymore. Well, it takes longer than I thought. This should have... This should be the last one, right? Now he can't use Harden anymore. Oh, he can. Wow. Wait, how many stages can you increase your stats? Oh, he uses a Hyper Potion on a fucking Kakuna, oh my god. No! No! Fuck no, dude! Oh my god. Oh, this is so annoying, I can't even handle it. Unbelievable, dude. Wow, what a fucking bullshit. Holy crap. Well, now I can't sweep anything. Now I have to hope that I have the answers. If not, then this is gonna be... Yeah, kind of, right? <laughs> kind of was to be expected. Roll Milk, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. Um... All right, Rokangas can take down a freaking. Rokangas can take down a fucking golem. It has to one-shot it though. If it doesn't one-shot, then self-destruct would be really bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got it. All right, we're in this, guys. We won't lose any Pokemon in this battle. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. I guess 
I'll try a freezer with crunch. Oh boy. So many people on the stream right now. Guys, you are great. I'm so happy to have you all on the stream. Hope you're enjoying the action. And, dude, what? Well, that would be nice that the special defense drops, but it doesn't really help me right now. I guess I switch to Charizard and then we're gonna get it. And we're gonna flamethrower this down. <laughs> but believe me, I'm still here. Alright. I believe you, bro. I'm a total believer. Oh my god. We are actually really lucky that his team is kind of garbage. I mean, a Cascoon level 43. If that was a Mewtwo, oh boy, we would have been dead. Or any legendary for that matter. The randomizer did us a... Served us well here. <laughs> Sometimes lucky. So we get toxic. Um, the toxic team, yeah. Sometimes the RNG is good. Like, I had so many randomizer runs where, like, trainers at the start of the game had random Mewtwo's and all that shit, and I was getting wrecked really fucking hard. I was, like, getting destroyed. And lost like a shit ton of Pokemon at the start of the run and then I reach the Pokemon League and I'm super scared and they just send out Caterpies and Kakunas and Metapods and shit like that and Magic Carps and I'm like oh that is anticlimactic imagine going into the champion battle everything is hyped up and you're super ready to go and then he just sends out Caterpies and Magic Carps and you're like what the fuck is this oh boy that is actually fun. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, there is a bunch of trainers up there that I cannot reach without cut. Let me get cut. Let me actually get cut now. I have my cut slave still lurking somewhere. I have to deposit something though. What do I deposit? Oh, the episode is almost over, guys, but yeah, as I said, I'm only gonna do a quick break, just a few minutes, and then I'll be back. Um, let's deposit the Charizard for now. We get out. Uh, Yo, Gamma! And we could get our Fly Slave, so we could fly around, but... Whatever. So I'm just gonna beat up a bunch of trainers and then we can... Actually, we have to do the Team Rocket part next in Saffron. And then we can also surf to uh, Zinnabar Island and do that part. Beat a bunch of trainers on the way. Alright guys, come at me. Come at me, bros. You, for example. Oh, a Rawls. Rawls is a cool poke. Alright guys, I guess this is the last fight of this episode. So I'm gonna um, make a cut here and gonna start the outro. Um, I hope you guys stick with me. The, the stream is so fucking nicely filled with people right now. Uh, I would appreciate if you would stay. Um, just get a snack yourselves or... Go to the get to the use the chance to get to the restroom or anything. I will be back in five minutes. So yeah, I guess don't go anywhere, guys. Um, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red in the Randomizer Ashlock episode 11. Um, yeah, I'm Infernal. As I said, I'm gonna be back in just five minutes. So stick with me and see you in the next episode, guys. Have a nice day.